Able the eight chiral centers in cholesterol. How many stereoisomers are possible for a molecule with this many chiral centers? Well, first we need to figure out what is a chiral center. A chiral center is a carbon that has four different groups attached to it. Sometimes it's a little hard to figure it out, so in this problem I will show you how. The first thing that we need to do is we need to label all the hydrogens. You can see that I already showed all of the hydrogens on this cholesterol molecule. The way we figure out how many hydrogen is by knowing that each carbon wants to have four bonds. So if you see a carbon, for example, this one with two bonds, then you, need, then you know that you need two more hydrogens to make it have four bonds. Everything has been labeled with the correct number of hydrogens, and we can right away eliminate all of the carbons that have two and three hydrogens. Why? Because if you have two hydrogens or if you have three hydrogens, for sure those carbons cannot have four different groups since they already have two or three of the same groups. So we can eliminate that. Now we're going to be looking at carbons that have one hydrogen or less. Let's go ahead and we will start with the carbon that has the OH group, this carbon. It has the OH group, it also has a hydrogen. Now we're going to go around the carbon. The two connections that it has is this carbon and this carbon. We go atom by atom until we find the first difference. If we do not find any differences, then the two groups are the same. If we find a difference, the two groups are different. We have to keep on going atom by atom until the very end. So for example, carbon, carbon, no difference. Now we go again, carbon, carbon, no difference. However, the carbon on top is only connected to one carbon, while the carbon on the bottom is connected to a double bond and it's connected to two carbons. Therefore, there is a difference between these two carbons. Therefore, these connections are different. OH and H are also different. different. So this carbon is indeed a chiral center, and I'm going to put a small asterisk next to it. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to erase my dots, so it's not going to get too confusing, because in molecules like this, it's really easy to get confused. And we will continue to this carbon. <clears throat> This carbon does not have any hydrogen, however, it has one carbon here, a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. The carbon on the very top is not connected to any carbons, therefore it's different from the rest of them. The carbon on the bottom is connected to a double bond, which is also different from the rest of them. The carbon on the left is connected to only one carbon here and the carbon on the right is connected to two carbons. Therefore, all of the connections are different and this is a chiral center also. We will put an asterisk next to it as well. I'm going to again erase all of these dots so they don't bother me when I do the rest of my carbons. Let's go ahead and let's go next to this carbon next. It's connected to a hydrogen, which is different uh, from the rest. It's also connected to a carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here. The carbon on the left is connected to three carbons. The carbon on the right is only connected to one carbon, and the carbon in this position is connected to two carbons. So you can see that all the carbons are different. We found points of differences and therefore this is a chiral carbon as well. We will go ahead and put the car <coughs> put put it as the chiral carbon. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and erase all of our dots again so they don't bother us and we will go to the next carbon. Okay, the next carbon I see is this one. It has only one hydrogen. The hydrogen is different from the rest. It has a carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here. The carbon to the left is connected to two carbons. 
the carbon to the right is also connected to two carbon carbons. The carbon down here is connected to only one carbon, so it's already different. Now let's look at these two pathways. We can see that this pathway will lead to, some, to a double bond, while this pathway will not lead to a double bond. Therefore, these two connections are also different. And hydrogen is different. We said the first carbon was different. So we're going to go ahead and put asterisks there since this is connected to all the different carbons. All right, we're getting closer. It says that there are eight chiral centers. So we're done with half. I hope you're following me. I know it could be a little confusing. Let's go to the next carbon, this one. It does not have any hydrogens. It does. It is connected to one carbon here, a carbon to the left, to the right, and down. The top carbon is definitely different from the rest of them because it's not connected to any carbon. So that's for sure a check. Now, the bottom carbon is connected to two carbons right away. Uh, the right carbon is also connected to two carbons. The left is only connected to one carbon, so we will put a check there too. And then when we go between the, when we check between the right carbon and the bottom carbon, we can see that the right carbon, one of its extension leads to two carbons, like this and this whole group, while on the left, we can see, sorry, not on the left, on the bottom, we can see that that does not lead to that extension and therefore we will go ahead and put asterisk next to it as well because these going in the four different directions is different for this carbon. All right, let's erase again all of our, all of our dots. Okay, let's go to this one. It has a hydrogen, which is different. Then it has this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. This one is a little easier because this carbon is connected to three carbons on the left. On top, it's connected to two carbons. And on the bottom, it's connected to only one. So. Right away, we see a difference between all the pathways and the hydrogen. Therefore, this is a chiral center as well. Let's go ahead and count our chiral centers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two more to go. Let's go ahead and erase our dots like we did before to help us and continue. All right, we see that this carbon also has one hydrogen it, it is connected to the carbon on the left, on the right, and on the bottom. On the left, the carbon is definitely different from the rest because it's only connected to hydrogens. It's not connected to any more carbons, so we can put the check mark here. On the bottom, this carbon is connected to two carbons, while on the right, this carbon is only connected to one carbon. Therefore, this is also a chiral center. Okay, excellent. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're missing one. And let's go ahead and look at this carbon. I'm not sure if we did it or not yet. Maybe I have erased it already, but let's go ahead and do it again. So we have a hydrogen. Let me go ahead and erase the dots first. So it's not going to bother us when we do when we do this carbon. We have a hydrogen here, which is different. Now we have a carbon here, a carbon on top, and then a carbon to the right. The carbon on top is connected right away to three carbons. So that is different from the carbon on the left that's connected to two carbons and the carbon on the right that's only connected to one carbon. Therefore, all the connections are different and we did not have to go too far. And this is a chiral center as well. All right, now let me go ahead and erase my check marks because I think 
they make it look more confusing. I apologize for that. Now that we have all the chiral centers, we can answer the second question. How many stereoisomers are possible for a molecule with this many chiral centers? Well, this is much easier. All you need to know is that the number of stereoisomers is equal to 2 to the n, where n is the number of chiral centers. So, at, first of all, this question already told us there are 8 chiral centers there. So even if we didn't know how to find them, we could have answered the second part. It has to be 2 to the 8th power. Now, um, the hard part of this question was figuring out the chiral centers. I hope that I helped you and I look forward to seeing you in more organic chemistry videos. Please feel free to like, subscribe or comment on my video. I will be happy to see your comments. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring and I will see you next time.